Patriot of the Republic, Mike Fulmer. And this is regarding uh, Gary Johnson's VP pick, William Weld. Well, let me tell you some things that I know about William Weld, which is fact. William Weld is a honorary council on for an honorary member of the Council on Foreign Relations. Plus, he's an attorney. And let me tell you an interesting thing about the attorneys. Well, he actually holds a title of nobility. And if if you're a civil if you're a civil servant that holds an, any type of a, any type of office, you cannot hold an office with a title of nobility, like a king, a prince, a queen, and a uh, princess, and an esquire. And what an esquire is is well, it's it's a title for an attorney or a lawyer. So William Howard is a mem an honorary member of the Bar Association and he's also uh, Gary Johnson's VP pick, vice presidential pick for the uh, Libertarian Party. So this is a way for uh, get someone in there, opt the uh, what's going good for the uh, libertarians they do have uh, they do have access in all 50 states and all the vo voting pools and well the, the crooked establishment the democrats and the republicans William Weld is a formal uh, republican a conservative and he went over to the uh, libertarians just to what I think to opt the party to take control and certain powers to be are afraid of the libertarian party because they're getting a lot of good positive momentum and well that's that's just my thought and I don't trust uh, William Weld I don't think it will be a good choice for uh, Gary Johnson and uh, libertarians have to address this and uh, find a replacement for Gary Johnson that's that's best fitted, uh, I, w I would suggest uh, Austin Peterson. I do like Austin Peterson. Um, he holds libertarian values. He's helped bring that party up, and he's a new he's an up and comer. I wish he would have been the one that would have had the uh, the nomination. I wish he would have won the nomination uh, just a couple weeks ago uh, I think that was like May 25th 26th and the 27th of this year uh, well I just don't trust William Weld and the Libertarian Party has to keep a good eye on William Weld and I could tell you one thing about the being an honorary member of the uh, Council on Foreign Relations, one of their uh, goals and one of their agendas is basically they want to help form a one world government, a one world, uh, well, oh, they want to have a, uh, a one world monetary banking system and a one world religion. That's what they're pushing for, the Council on Foreign Relations. This is one of the reasons why, that's one of the reason, and plus being an Esquire, why I, why I don't trust William Weld. The Libertarians have to get rid of William Weld and have a replacement, a better replacement to replace William Weld because I just do not trust him. And I, and I know a lot of Libertarians do not trust him. Well, this is pretty much it. Uh, this is my views on William Weld. And I'll take care. God bless. Mike Fulmer, Patriot of the Republic, saying goodbye for now. Take care.